Good afternoon, Divas. It's Kelly with Diamond Dotting Divas. It's What's Up Wednesday. Um, I finished my conference call, so I wanted to jump on and make um, show you another card idea that I found that I think you'll like. Um, so, and this one, it, it's kind of different. Um, I think people don't realize that um, you can just use a outline of a stamp or just a fill-in of a stamp separately. They don't have to go together. So I'm going to take you down to my table. Let me get my act together here. Um, in case I forget, all the orders from Monday are either gone or going. I forgot that today is Juneteenth, so there is no mail today. So they will go out tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> I still have a couple people who have to pay, but other than that, so yeah, I didn't realize that or I would have taken them to the post office yesterday, but I forgot that it was Juneteenth. I'm not used to a holiday being like on a Wednesday. <laughs> I, you know, I'm, I don't know, I, it's, I guess I'm not used to Juneteenth yet. Um, so I was not prepared, so I apologize. I'm not going to show you the card yet because I want to make it while you're watching. Hi, Kim. Hi, Kay. Okay, so I'm going to take you down to my um, table. And <clears throat> this is another way, too, to kind of make kind of like your own designer paper type of a thing. So let me take you down here. Creak, 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 creak. I don't know why my thing is so tight. <laughs> my tripod. Okay, so what I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with a piece of um, this crushed curry paper and I'm going to cut it in half at five and a half because this is going to be a standard um, card. So let me get that at five and a half and I'm going to cut, not score. I'll keep that piece or in case I make a mistake. Then I'm going to score it at four and a quarter, which is halfway. So I'm going to score, not cut. Oh, I should get my little cheat sheet out so I know how big to cut things. That would be helpful. All right, so then on this one, where is my bone folder? I'm going to just crease this over and give it a good, nice, crispy crease. So I'm done with that. So that's going to be, this is going to be your card base. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a mat and I'm going to make a mat of black. <clears throat> and the black is, is a, going to be down a quarter of an inch. Oh, I do need that other piece. So that's going to be five and a quarter by four. And that's going to go on. This is going to be this mat here. I think I can stick that down. <laughs> we'll see. I have to put a ribbon around it, but I think I can... That's for the next layer. So let me put this one down. On here. Did I break the envelope over? Oh yeah, because I wanted to show you the envelope too. All right, so <clears throat> that's gonna be your mat. Then I'm gonna take a mat of white. Oh, I did bring the envelope, yay. I'm gonna take, a, um, I'm gonna make another mat of white on top of the black, because of course you can't do the black. So that goes also down another quarter. So that's gonna be five by three and three quarters. And then I'm gonna make another layer, because I love layers. So that's gonna go here. But this one I'm not gonna stick down, because I'm gonna eventually wrap a ribbon around there. So I'm gonna put this one here, and then I'm going to take, I have a piece of the six by six, this is the Regal's pack, and I like it because it's polka dotty. So this one, I'm just going to make a strip across this white. So this piece is just going to be three quarters wide. And again, I like my Stampin' Up! trimmer because I can go this way, so I have more paper to hang on to. So this one's going to be three-fourths wide by three and three-fourths. So I just want a nice little skinny strip. <clears throat> And that's going to go at the top of this one. But again, I'm not going to stick this down because I'm going to stamp on this white piece. So I'm just going to put it there for now. 
Um, then I'm going to stamp. Well, maybe I'll cut the rest. Let me cut the rest of the pieces. Um, no, I'll cut them as I go. <laughs> I'm just deciding this right now. Okay, so, oops, my stamp fell off. So what I'm going to do is this stamp set is called, and again, this is old, but this stamp set is called Secret Garden, and I like that it's got like the outlines and the middles and the stem. And this leaf is good for a lot of things. So, um, but you can use any. The nice thing about this is the reason I wanted this card is because you can just go and buy an outline of a stamp or a solid piece of a stamp and, and make this card as well. You don't have to buy, you know, buy a whole stamp set. I have a whole stamp set, but then that's just me. So I'm going to stamp the flower, the just the outline first. I give a trial run. I love a trial run. And I'm just going to stamp this willy-nilly on this piece of paper. Like so. Then I'm going to take, so I just use black. Then I'm going to take the crushed curry color, which is the same color as the paper. And I'm going to use this filled in. Okay, we'll stay on the block, please. I'm going to use this filled in stamp. So let me, and then I'm going to do, again, trial run. Woohoo! And actually, that seems a little bit dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp off. And what that means is you stamp once on a piece of scratch paper. And then you stamp again over here so that it's not quite so dark, but it's still, you still have the color. I'm going to go one more over here. And it's okay to overlap these. Again, you know, there's no right or wrong. I'm going to, I'm going to do like one more black one. This yellow piece is going to go here. So that's why I'm not really looking up at the top because that's going to go here. But I don't like that white space right there. <clears throat> so let me give it another stamp one more time with just the black outline. And go right in the middle. Oh, much better. I'm not going to clean those stamps because I'm going to do my inside piece too. But I got to wait till I get there. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of ribbon. Well, I'm going to stick the yellow piece on, I guess. Because I'm done stamping. And again, this paper is double-sided, but I just want to use the white dotty side. So I'm just going to stick this up here. And I cut it the same width as this, as the white. Oh, I cut it the same width as the white because I wanted it to look kind of like this is like a piece of de um, designer paper. It's kind of, kind of what I want it to look like. But <coughs> Sorry. Okay, then I'm just going to take a piece of ribbon. And I'm going to wrap it around my top of my card. And again, I'm not really um, gluing it down. I'm just going to lay it here. And then I'm just going to use a piece of scotch tape to hold it in place. Just because I don't need to really secure it. Because when I put this piece to the card base, it will get, adhe uh, um, it will get adhesive on it then. So I'm just going to do that. Then I'm going to freehand a bow, ha, 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 because I just want to put a bow on there, but I didn't want to tie the bow because sometimes when I tie bows on the actual cardstock, I tie it a little bit too tight and then the card buckles. <laughs> you know, the card will go, no, that's too tight. So I'm just going to kind of freehand one. Oh, that's not too bad. Take my ribbon scissors and cut that. Like so. Okay, then I'm done with my piece of ribbon. Then I'm going to use a glue dot and I'm going to stick that ribbon down. So give me a glue dot. And I'm just going to stick that down right there. So then you have a nice bow, but you didn't you didn't have to try to to try to wrap that and have that bow come out all perfect. Yeah, that's not going to happen. At least not in my world. <laughs> So that's that. Then I'm gonna now I'm ready to put this onto my card base. So again, any just by using, let's put some glue on that ribbon. Just by using just the um, two stamps, it kind of looks like a piece of designer paper, which is what my goal was. So see, isn't that cute? 
Okay, so what I want to do, I want to put a little bit of embellishment on here. And then, of course, you know my sister's rule, you can't stamp on the inside. You can't write on colored paper. That's my sister's rule. So I'm going to make this a mat for the inside. And I'm just going to make this um, so, it's, so I can use the same piece of paper. I made it a little bit smaller than the half. Or then the, I usually make this five and a quarter by four and, but this one's already cut. I just took the other piece off. So I made it a little smaller because I don't need to cut a whole another piece of paper. But what I want to do is I now want to stamp just kind of the inside of the inside piece. Just so it kind of like, oh, goes, oh, oh, all oh, goes along. So, and again, I'm going to stamp off. So I'm just going to kind of go on the edge and I'm going to kind of stamp off just because I don't want to stamp the whole thing because I want you to be able to have words on the inside. But you can go down or go as high as you want. Totally up to you. Now let's go there. Then I think I'm done with this one. And then I'm going to get my black piece out or my black pad out, I mean. And I'm gonna, and again, as you see, I'm stamping, I'm letting it go off the paper because I just want there to be like a hint of the flower. I don't want the whole thing. Go there, let's put one down here. So just so I just have kind of a nice little border on the inside that matches. I like to stamp the inside of the card and I like to stamp the envelope. I don't always have a chance to stamp the envelope when I make the card because then sometimes it's kind of hard to match the, keep the matching envelope with the card. Cause you know, I have a billion cards cause I don't like to send them. <laughs> so I don't usually stamp the envelope, even though I think it's a cool idea. So that's going to be your inside. And then you can write there. Then what I want to do is I want to make a little something, something for here. So I'm going to take this little piece of white I'm going to show you a little trick. So this piece of white needs to be one, a half inch wide. So in that case, I put it right in between here on the cutter. And I cut up because clearly there's nothing to hang on to. And then this piece I want to be two inches long. Um... Wow, that doesn't seem very wide. I'm going to need to make, well, I messed that up. I'm going to need to make that a little bit wider. I think it should be, I said half, but I think it would be better if it's three quarters. So let me cut this piece again. So I'm going to make it, yeah, I want it a little wider. And then this needs to be two inches. Um, yeah, two inches is good. And then I'm going to put that on the front, but I'm going to show you how. Then I'm going to take a piece of black because I want to mat this little strip of white and I'll show you what I want to do. So this, I'm going to make this piece of black one and a quarter because I want it to be much fatter than the other piece. And then this piece will be three inches. So that's, okay, I'm done cutting. Get that out of my way. So here's a trick I want to show you. Okay, now I think this one's too wide. What the heck? Can I even measure? This should be one and a quarter. One, how much, how fat did I make it? Oh, I made it one and three quarters. Well, I can't read my own writing, people. <laughs> so there we go. I have a lot, I'll have a lot of these little scraps left over. So here's a little trick. What I want to do here is I want to make this have a little flag, the little pointy um, end. Now, sometimes you can do this with a punch, but if you don't have the punch, all you need to do is take your scissors and kind of figure out where the middle of your piece of paper is and make a little cut. So I'm going to do it with the white because it's easier to see. So I'm going to make a little bit of a cut in the middle here. And then all you do is you go from the corner and you go to the cut. And then you go from the corner and you go to the cut. And then see, then you have a perfect little flag. So let me see if I, let me see if I can even see this black one. Okay, so there. And then that always makes a perfect little flag because they're in the even. So that's gonna go here and then here. 
And then I'm going to put this on my card as like the greeting. So see, won't that be cute? So let me, I did bring over some funny sayings, but I don't have a lot of room. So I think what I'm going to say is hang in there because it's kind of a hangy thing. So let me get that one out and put it on this block. I think hang in there will apply to every all situations. And I'm gonna stamp that in black because I want it to show. I think if I stamp it in the yellow, it won't show up right. And it's not a lot of words, so. All right, let me, let's see if I can get this straight. Test run. Ooh, that came out really dark. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna go right on that little flag. Oh, yay! I love when things work. <laughs> that doesn't happen all the time, you know. All right, so I'm going to stamp off that excess ink. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mount this onto this piece of white and then stick it on my card. So you can make like your own little background paper if you don't have any. And I'm just going to kind of mat this kind of right in the middle there. And then I'm going to stick it to my card right here. I'm going to kind of put it under the ribbon so it looks like it's part of the ribbon. So I'm going to just put that there. Yay. Okay. How cute is that? And then look at my ink. So there, it's a nice little, it's a nice little general cut. Okay, well, this ribbon is kind of wiggly. So I'm going to pop a little glue dot underneath that piece of ribbon. I don't like how wiggly it is. The glue dot stayed on my thumb. Okay, so let's stick that down there. Now it's not so wiggly. So here's my card with my non-wiggly ribbon. So see how this just kind of looks like a piece of designer paper? I probably should have put something else down there, but too late. So you can stamp as much or as little as you want here. And like I said, you can do like the full flower or just the outline, um, but it doesn't take a lot of of stamps, you don't need a whole stamp set to make this card. You could also use just the black or just the yellow. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, just this stamp or just this stamp. And then if you just wanted to do the outline, you could just color it in. But it just kind of looks like, looks like a piece of designer paper. And then that's gonna be your inside. So I know, isn't it cute? So here's, the, this was the sample that I had that I thought, ooh, I want to make this, but I didn't have this happy birthday sign, uh, stamp, I mean. So this is what the, this is what my inspiration was. And then when I made that one, I did make, I did stamp the envelope. And so here's the front of the envelope, just got a little something, something on there. You know, just cause I wanted to be, to be all matchy. So that's my, and I, I do like that the hang in there because let's face it, these days we can all need a little hanging in there. So that's my card for today. So I just, what I wanted to show you was that you can have just a little strip of designer paper and you can kind of stamp up your own. I need to put another stamp, I need to put another black one there. So look, I'm going to teach you something new. So I feel like this is too, this is, there's a hole here and it's bothering me. But if I were to stamp this, it's going to get on the yellow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a piece of paper. This is how you, this is also called masking. And I'm going to get this outline inked back up. And then I'm just going to, oh, I'm just going to pop it right there so that most of it goes there and it doesn't overlap. So there you have it. Um, that's, that's also a technique called masking that I'll show you someday. What you do is you take a post-it and you stamp on the post-it and then you put the post-it where you want it. And then when you stamp, you won't get ink where you don't want it. So that's my card for today. Let me bring you up here and see. Hi, Ruth. Let's see who I have here. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Carol. Hi, Melody and Jeffrey. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Maria. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Carol Reed. Hi, Ruth. Ruth, my backsplash was supposed to go in today and the guy forgot to come. <laughs> so he's coming tomorrow. Boo! Yes, I am home. Thank you. Hi, Lorene. 
Thanks, Kate. Hi, Meryl Lee. Well, thank you. I don't know how beautiful it is, but I kind of like it. So I want to run through the um, dimensions for you again. So it's a regular card base, the, just the regular with the yellow. Then the black is the regular mat. Um, so that's going to be five and a quarter by four. And then the white is just down another quarter from that. So the white was five by three and three fourths. Then this piece, this piece of the um, designer paper that was just a strip that was three fourths of an inch by three and three quarters because I wanted the same width as the white. Then this little black pointy piece was one and a quarter by three. And then the white piece inside was three quarters by two. And then of course this, the inside, the inside mat is normally five and a quarter by four, but I used a scrap, a piece that was left over. So it was five by three and three quarters, but that's okay. Cause you'll never know. Oh, Carol, I hope you're okay. I'm glad you're home from the hospital. Oh, Carol, maybe I'll send this to you so you can hang in there. <laughs> So that's my card for today. Like I said, all the orders, um, Dawn brought them all to me. So I got them all ready to go. And when I went yes last night to set up for a pickup, it kept saying no. And I thought, well, why? And of course, I thought it was the our shipping guy, per, uh, website that we use. No, it's Juneteenth today. And apparently there's no mail on Juneteenth. So I promise I either will take them to the post office today or they will go out tomorrow. Um, I've got a couple that I'm still waiting for payment. Otherwise, everything will go. So thank you. Yeah, it's Juneteenth day. I, I know. I, I found that out. <laughs> I didn't realize it was Juneteenth. Maybe that's why my backsplash guy didn't show because maybe he's taking Juneteenth off. But, you know, he said he would be here between 7 and 7.30. So, of course, I got up at 5.30 so this could all be ready when he came. And then I had my conference call at 8.30. So, <clears throat> I'm on my conference call and I had my, I was on my iPad. And so, I had my phone, like, on the bottom that, because I have a camera that shows my driveway. And I kept watching and watching because I didn't want this guy to walk, you know, to ring the doorbell when I was supposed to be on this call. It was actually a hearing, um, a court hearing. And so I didn't want to be like, excuse me, I have to go let in my guy. So finally, at like 8.30, I texted and I said, hello, you were supposed to come to my backsplash. And apparently he got the day wrong. So he, so, and then my cabinet painter guy was going to come tomorrow. So then I had to push everybody back a day. So needless to say, and I had all, I figured I would be stuck home all day today. So I was going to like vacuum and clean the bathrooms and do stuff that, cause I'm stuck here at home. Well, now I'm no longer stuck at home. So I think I either need some retail therapy or a bunch of chocolate cause my hearing did not go as planned. So I got to do something about it. I, I'm thinking maybe some retail therapy, although I spent all my money on my kitchen. <laughs> so maybe I'll just eat a bunch of chocolate. That works too. So if you have any questions, diamond.divas at yahoo.com is our email. Um, the website is updated from what Dawn showed you Monday night. I did get another um, box. I got a box on a package yesterday, so we will have some new stuff to show you on Monday. Um, this is, today is Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> so yes, I'm back from Tennessee where it was so humid. There, it was only like 80 degrees. Well, to me in Arizona, that's like sweater weather. I stepped outside my aunt's house and my hair went like this. It was so humid. It was terrible. When you're, and I'm from Illinois, so I know what humidity is, but when you're, not used to it. Like if our humidity gets to be like 8%, oh my God, people go nuts. And I think to myself, sometimes when I go home, it is 90% humidity. It's like, <sighs> so <clears throat> it was, I was not prepared for it on the first day, but then I got used to it. And my aunt keeps her house delightfully cold. So it was nice to, I didn't have to worry about being chilly or being hot in her house, even though I did still hot flash quite a bit, but there's nothing to be done about that. So anyway, if you would like to order, diamond.divas.com is our website. Um, and I did get, like I said, the website is updated. So that's all good and well. So I will see you. I'm sure Dawn will be on either tomorrow or Friday. And I will see you for sure on Monday and maybe before. So thanks, everybody. Have a great Wednesday. Bye.